So a female salmon can lay two to 5,000 eggs. So she's swimming up and saving all of her energy to put these eggs into one red. And these eggs start out, they're about the size of a pea and they're bright orange and they're called a zygote. And that is the first stage in their development. And that is a fertilized egg. And after 21 days, they become eyed eggs. So if you look closely on the, on the egg, it kind of looks like it's been sprinkled with pepper flakes. And those are the eyes of the fish developing. And they will be at an early eyed egg state for 21 days. Then they moved on to advanced eyed eggs and they're about 26 days old. And there is where you'll see the start of their spine developing and the rest of their body. When they hatch from their egg, they're called alevin, and they're a newly hatched egg at about 38 to 40 days old. And they still kind of have these really dark buggy eyes and small delicate bodies. So it's important for them to stay sheltered in the red and stay sheltered in the nest at this stage so they don't become prey for our aquatic predators. And after about 57 days, they come out as they, they're sac fry. So they still have that egg sac on their belly, but they're starting to get more indicators that look like fish. So they're developing these par marks, which are their stripes down their sides. Um, their fins are a little bit more noticeable and they're developing more spots. After they've fully absorbed their yolk sac, we call them swim up fry and they're about 75 days old. And this is where they start to look like the fish that a lot of us are used to. You can see their gills, their stripes, their spots, and all of their fins. And when they're fry, they'll remain in the water for a while. And what's important here, while they develop and they build up the strength to start their journey downstream towards the ocean, is for them to have shelter have a healthy stream that keeps them safe and provides them with a lot of food. So what they're looking for is cool, clear water that's providing macroinvertebrates for them to eat, that's providing shelter from the riparian system that they can hide in and hide from predators. And we're looking for healthy water that has the perfect water quality with the right amount of oxygen and nutrients so they can survive.